Hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Christine. I like to read dark and disturbing things and I like to get a lot of book mail. Today I have an unboxing of, I believe, I believe this is going to be the March Unplug Book Box. So let's check it out. <laughs> open it briefly just to see that this is indeed the March adult book box from Unplugged. Um, there was a card in here explaining that things are late so I'm actually filming this on April 30th and and I'm just now getting the March box. I also haven't gotten the April box and I just want to say that I did um, actually cancel this book box because I signed up for their Twisted Retreat box. I think that April is going to be my last box that I received. So um, nothing against this box at all. I just um, get quite a few boxes and wanted to kind of catch up on some of my reading. So this is a little unusual because um, it's not in the usual unplugged book box and maybe because the items are bigger, I'm not sure, but this is a peek inside. And right away, I see this Greek um, inspired, like, I think this is a sticker. Yeah, this is a sticker. And this looks very much like the um, cup that we got in our last box. Um, so this matches that with like the kind of Greek writing there with the coffee. So that is pretty cool. And then there's quite a few um, big boxes. So I'm going to just start opening them up and see what we have inside. First one is like this. This usually looks like some kind of drink thing. Oh yeah, a travel. I feel like I cannot have enough travel cups, especially if there is a straw. And this says Storybooks Coffee Bookworm. And this is like a bit fatter than um, what you would normally see. Oh, this is so cute. So on the back, it says unplug book box and then how they have like, you know, venti, grande, whatever. It says hardcover, paperback, audio book, ebook, special edition and collector's edition. And then on the front, if you read like the like writing that they have in between there on this coffee bean, it is fantasy, romance, sci-fi, poetry, thriller, classic, all etc. And but wait, there's more. There's a little hole there to put the straw, which I am in love with these metal straws because it actually like keeps your drink cool even going up. But you also have a sippy option. So I need to make sure that no one in my family steals this cup because I could already tell this is going to be a favorite of mine. I love this. Very functional. I love it. I see Fiction Bath Co. As You Wish, which is from The Princess Bride. Fiction Bath Co. makes amazing scented um, body products. I've never been disappointed with any of their products. This says it is an unplugged exclusive handcrafted body lotion, uh, peach, honey, and buttercup, because her name, Buttercup, Princess Buttercup. This smells very floral, but you could smell the peach. I just wanna, it's very girly. It's a bit floral for my taste, but I do still like it. Um, I'll still use this. And then I see, what is this, a, a bar of soap? It says, Stardust and Stories, Apple Blossom, Magic, and Lang Lang. Pretty sure this is a bar of soap. I guess I should show you, huh? I can't really smell it and I don't want to open it um, just because I'm not ready to use it. And Unplugged has stopped putting the little spoiler cards inside the boxes. Instead, they have like a QR code that you can scan, which I can't do because I'm recording with my phone. So um, I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'm sure it's a way to save paper, but they still have to print the thing with the, the QR code. So to me, it does the box a disservice, but I'm sure I could get over it. All right, we have two more boxes and our book. Let's open this because I think this is the candle. Ooh, it looks like it's blue. Oh, purple. Essence of Gluttony. 
Uh, this one is inspired by The Poppy War, which I still have yet to read. It is on my books, 23 books in 2023 that I want to read. I can smell this, but I don't know what it smells like because I'm awful at guessing. It's not foodie or anything. We're in spring, so we get a lot of floral, like fruity scents, which isn't my favorite, but I do love this purple jar that it's in. I'm just plowing right through this box. All right, next we have this big box and then our book. Let's see. What in the world? What in the world? Good. Oh, Jekyll and Hyde. Like, why do I feel like this is going to be used for certain things? Um, I almost called it a test tube, but like, you know, the potion jars. This is very interesting. I'm not sure what you use it for aside from, um, display, but maybe there's, maybe there's another reason. Like, I don't know. Maybe you could put a flower in there. I don't know. Um, it is very cool looking, but I will have to look at my little cheat sheet and see. I'm not sure if you can see. Oh, there. The Jekyll and Hyde. I wonder why, if maybe this has some tie-in with the book. Because Jekyll and Hyde seems like a random thing to put in this box. All right, and we have our book and it's actually kind of split open. So let me just tear off the rest of the plastic. All right, so this is called Daughter of the Salt King by A.S. Thornton. I'm trying to decide if those are... I was looking at these like paisley, like these birds made out of paisley. It was pretty interesting. And then we have... I think it goes this way. We have these braid edges, which are very, oh, look at this, which seem pretty cool. I have no idea what this is about. This is digitally signed. Yeah, digitally signed by the author. And let's see. Oh, cool. Mine is a little bit damaged on the corners. I don't know if you could see that there. And there, which must be how they received the book because the this is fine. But this is what the naked hardcover looks like. It is actually, I don't know if you could tell, but it's hollow. Yeah, there you go. Hollow gold. That is pretty cool. Got like a desert theme on the back. I have no idea what this is about. So let's check it out. An epic romantic fantasy where the desert meets the sea about the magic of wishes and their unintended consequences. I'm not into romance too much. I mean, if romance ends up being part of the story, then that's cool. And it has something about wishes. So I wonder if this is going to be almost like an Aladdin type thing. Uh, it says, as a daughter of the salt king, salt king Emil sought to to be among the most powerful women in the desert. Instead, she and her sisters have had less freedom than even her father's slaves. For the Salt King uses his own daughters to seduce visiting noblemen into becoming powerful allies by marriage. So basically normal life for women back then. <laughs> Escape from her father's court seems impossible and Emil dreams of a life where she can choose her fate. When members of the secret rebellion attack, Emil stumbles upon an alluring escape route her father's best kept secret, a wish granting Jin uh, Salim. I, I, I'm sorry if I'm saying any of these wrong. Um, I've known people named Salim, but this is S-A-A-L-I-M. There's two A's, so maybe I'm wrong there. But in the land of the Salt King, wishes are never what they seem. Salim's magic is volatile. Emil could lose everything with a wish for her freedom as the rebellion intensifies around her. She soon finds herself playing in a dangerous game that pits dreams against responsibility and love against the promise of freedom. Um, even though I'm not usually into romance, this does sound interesting. Um, I like the idea of a genie or a jinn um, in here. 
this does sound kind of YA to me. So um, this is the adult box. I'm hoping that it isn't super YA, that it leans more towards like new adult or adult. Um, but I think this one has potential. I am interested and I definitely need to catch up on my fantasy reads, which I plan on doing soon. I forgot to show you the end papers of that. So yeah, this sounds interesting. I'm not sure where Jekyll and Hyde comes in. Um, I'll have to check into the thing, into the um, spoiler QR code, but by far my favorite item is this, this metal insulated travel mug, which in my mind you can never go wrong. I like how it's a little bit of a different shape. I like that it is bookish without being like super in your face. I love the top of it. I love everything about it. By far my favorite item. So that was the March, March adult box. Let me know what you thought. What is your favorite item? Um, have you read this book already? I'd like to hear about it. And um, I will have, I think one more, I think my other box is actually on its way, but I am going on vacation here tomorrow. And so Maybe by the time I get back, it'll be here and then we can open that together. So thank you for watching. As always, stay spooky.